Hi, I'm Carlos Coronado, game dev of Infernium, and welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to set up the modding tools to start modding Infernium. So the first thing you are going to need is getting the Unreal Engine. You go to Google, you cast unrealengine.com, and here you will just have to make first a new account. Here you have to click sign in and then sign up here. All right, and, and once you got it up, it's free, don't worry. You will have to go to download and download the Epic Games Launcher. Once the Epic Games Launcher is opened, you have to open it. And you have to make sure that you, you will appear here, sorry, in community. You go to library and you won't have this, any of this. You will have to click this button, here, here it says add versions. And here you will have to find this one, 4.16.3. That's the one you want, all right? And then you click install. And when it's installed, we leave it there for now. Okay, so the next step is go to your Infernium files and download with Steam. I have it in D, Program, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Infernium. And you want to navigate into Infernium Modding Tools and Infernium Modding Project, and you want to copy this field somewhere else. Why? Because if you fuck up, you have the backup project, which is always useful. So you copy this file, and for example, I have already done it, but I copied in D mods, and here it is, Infernium Modding Project, all right? Okay, once it's there, you have to navigate inside, and we need to change some things. You have to navigate in the project, and then you have to go to plugins, and my mod, and you have to change this, something on your own. Like, for example, hello, world mod okay and you need to copy this because it's really important but of course don't change it to hello world mod change it to something of your own like your name mod or whatever i don't know okay once it's copied then we go inside and this little you you plugin file here maybe you don't have this icon okay we have to change it to for the same name as the folder and you will also want to open this this file here with a plain edit like notepad or whatever, open with notepad or whatever. And here you are going to change this for the same. Hello world. Hello world description shoe created by, I don't know, you put here your name. And if you want to change the URL, fantastic. Okay. Okay, so this is the first step. It's quite easy, right? Now you have to navigate back to the folder and you have to open this file. Now don't worry if this icon doesn't appear here, okay? If you like double click and it doesn't open, don't worry. You just navigate here in the Epic Games Launcher, click here, launch. We don't want weird, okay. So here in project, blah, 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 you won't have all this. It, it will be blank, but don't worry. You have to click browse. And then you go to the, in my case it was in mods, Infernium modding project. Pop up, and here it is. Now it's happening. It will create two new files, intermediate and save it. And yes, I really like how the title of the modding tools was designed. I'm not going to change it. It's so professional. Okay. And we are already in the modding tool. You can click this miss here, no, no problem if it's the message here. So what can we do here? So the first we need, thing we need to do is we have to go here, click that one. And if you don't see, we don't see my mod files here. You have to go to the view options and you have to whoop, show plugin content. And here we go. Hello world mod content. How do we actually start to mod? It's quite, quite, quite easy. You go to file, open level, and you'll see some levels, the interaction showcase, the blah, 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 blah. You'll see some of them. The only thing you need to mod is to make a level called mod launcher, whatever. So for example, I'm going to create file, new level. I'm going to select this one, okay? And I'm going to put here, I don't know, something like a column or whatever. 
I will make more, more videos explaining the mod content, okay? But if I click play... Boom, I'm already playing Infernium. Right? Okay, so... How do I pack this? It's quite easy. You have to go to save current. And it's really important that this is going to be the launcher of the mod. I'm going to call it mod... It's a underscore... No, mod launcher underscore and the name of your mod like for example i'm going to name it hello world <coughs> mod for example okay it's really important that this the mod launcher and the this little sign over here that i don't remember the name the underscore i think it's called okay so once that is done we're nearly done that this is our mod and the only thing we need, we need to do is you have to go to Windows Project Launcher and you won't have these ones here you will have to create two new profiles with this okay I'm not going to actually create it I'm going to delete this one okay but you have to create two profiles and I'm going to scroll and you will and you can pause the video if you want okay but this is the main game and when that's created you need to put it like this, like any project, shipping, nothing, Windows no editor, in the Google cultures you have to enable only N, and in the Google maps you have to click intro map, alright, and that's it, release DLC, you have to do, leave it like this, advanced settings, here you go, you want it like this, and these settings will live like package and store locally, not deploy, and blah blah blah. Okay, and then you will need a new one which is called the mod profile. Okay, that is how it's going to be. Okay, so first you need these settings, it's quite similar. Okay, the end and blah blah blah. And here you will have to select the maps of your mod that, that are going to be included in your mod. The mod launcher is not optional. You all always have to have a mod launcher underscore whatever map. So you click, I click this one, and it, I'm going to have only one mod. And you have to put it like this, and this is really important. The name of the DLC to build has to match the name of your plugin. So we only click, and we put it like hello world mod. Okay, include engine content, blah, 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 blah. Okay, everything like this. All right. You can pause the video. You want it to see it in detail. And then you have to run this one. Click. First, click this one. And then it will start doing some compiling. Okay, the compiling is done, so you click done, and then you have to compile the next one, your mod profile. Compile, and it's this one is going to be much quicker. Launching, building, don't worry about this yellow stuff. Only worry about the red ones, and I don't think it's going to be one. So it's cooking already. Okay, it's looking good. Don't worry about this. Okay, and now success. So where is our mod now? It's actually right here. It's on plugins, hello world mod, save, stage builds, Windows no editor, inferno, plugins, hello world mod, content, packs, Windows no editor, and here it is. Hello world mod. So this is actually the file you will have to upload to a website or the file you will have to send to your friends or to the workshop or you know this this is the mod file. Where do this file go? So it's actually quite simple. It's you have to put it into Infernium Game Inferno Content Packs. This is on this team, right? Mods here hello world mod and this is it this is actually it uh, now you just launch the game
Okay, so let's see if our, our mod is there. Um, yeah, here it is. Hello world mod. So I'm going to navigate through it. Hello world mod. I'm going to hit play and boom, here I am in my mod. It really, really is that that simple to mod Infernium. Uh, before I end the video, I'm, I'm going. I want to give you a couple of advice on how to mod. So remember that the first one is quite simple. Always, always, always put your map modes in the maps folder. Don't put them anywhere else. You see here, mod launcher, hello world. And the second thing is, instead of putting the content here, I don't know why, but it's a little bit buggy, but it works the same way and it works perfectly. If instead of putting the content in the hello world mod content folder, you put it inside the content folder. Like I have created actually a, a folder called custom mod content. And you can, I don't know, click here, new folder, hello content, and whatever. And then the content you put here, it's actually really to package uh, really well. So I'm going to import a static mesh and a texture, blah, blah. So yeah, you see that's this content and you just click save all. And if I package this again, it's actually going to be shown in the game. Actually, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's repackage this. I'm going to save everything, just making sure. Just click here again. You don't have to click the first one every fucking time. So it is going. Boom, 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 boom. And here we go, now we go, it's the same process. We go here, plugins, hello world mode, save it, go again, and then a bunch of folders, blah, blah, blah. And here we go, just recently created. And then it's the same process. We go here to Infernium, we go to content, packs, mods, replace. And if I click on the game, Should still be there. There we go. Play. And there it is. My new content. Okay, so I think this will wrap things for now. And just know that if you want some tutorials about how to use the Unreal Engine, uh, there's plenty of them in the Epic Games uh, documents, the wiki, the Unreal Engine channel on YouTube. And if you want to know how to keep modeling Infernium, like how to things, to how to change things in game, or how to even make your own full Infernium campaigns with save games and persistency, uh, just watch the other video tutorials or take a look at the wiki. Okay, so thanks for watching.